I'm going to mention this more as an experiment than a proof. Um, logically, it may make it does make sense logically. This is just some homemade liposomal vitamin C. I made with an electronic uh, commercial electronic cleaner, plain ascorbic acid, distilled water, and non-GMO soy lecithin. That's on a separate video, and um, well, I'll show you what the ingredients are real quickly. Um, you basically use a blender like this, and you use an electronic electronic cleaner like that, and um, you take some. There's a certain amount of vitamin C powder that you mix in with uh, distilled water, and then <laughs> there's a certain amount of lecithin, lecithin non-GMO granules you mix in distilled water and you put them in a blender that's a separate video, a separate topic so let me uh, get on with this topic but just to give you a quick heads up review on that, very quick I'll point to a link where I made this stuff now I don't know how effective um, homemade liposomal vitamin C is versus commercial Commercial is supposed to be 90% encapsulated. Actually, there's a way to actually make the commercial. It's more complicated, but you got to put some vodka in it or alcohol or something. And I was like, I ain't going to bother with that. Supposedly, the way I'm doing it, supposedly, according to the alternative people, which I don't trust all the way, to be quite honest, uh, it says it's 70% liposomal, not 90%. Well, just to give you one caveat before, actually, when I put things out about um, alternative quote unquote medical things that are not practiced in the Western world. A lot of times, uh, where I get the information from, because I really I get I'm very suspicious of a lot of these yo-yos posting stuff on YouTube. Uh, what I'll do is I'll look at what the Japanese medical doctors do, the German medical doctors do, Israeli doctors do, uh, Russian doctors do. Chinese doctors do. In other words, people that are very established in medicine, but they might do something different from in the United States of America. And you're talking about, you know, an example might be with ozone therapy, which you really need a medical professional to uh, use. You just can't be saying, hey, I'm going to do ozone therapy and I know everything about it. You might, you might not. You know, well, I'm not saying don't do it, but that's a separate, that's, that's the way I am. I don't, even though I'm not a medical professional, I, if I look at something that's alternative, it's either got to be from ancient medicine or it's practiced in established um, medicine in other countries that have real good, noted uh, medical practices like Israel, Germany, Japan, Russia, China, you know, Switzerland, you know, not Nigeria, not, the, not Nigeria, but I know there's a lot of cures from Nigeria left and right, and I'm like, yeah, maybe. But anyway, what I'm going to do is, this is actually not something that's going to be one of those. This is going to be something that's alternative alternative. So I'm going to tell you it's highly experimental, but it's it's logical in my mind. Let me put it this way. This is something, actually this was shut down for a while and they started selling it. So I'm really giving you a lot of cautions before I tell you about this, right? So I don't know this for a fact, but it makes sense. So I'm going to try it. I'm going to experiment with it. This is Dr. Willard's Willard Water. Um... You know, dark XXX concentrate. <laughs> um, you tell, it tells you you can take like a three quarters of a tablespoon in a day. How this works, actually he developed this originally as a solvent, believe it or not. But what they've been finding out, it seems to, the way it seems to work is it seems to help the absorption of nutrients better. As a matter of fact, seeds that were treated in a mixture of some of this stuff in water before they were planted in the ground, they worked a lot better. Animals grew a lot faster. You know, it was, it was, I don't know, it was chickens and whatever the hell else they used it on. A lot of farmers swear by it. That's why it was illegal and it went back because it seemed like they had too many fans that said, hey, it works. I don't know exactly how this works. This is like one of those things, uh, the Japanese, the Germans, the Israelis, the Russians, the Chinese, or Switzerland, or nobody really experimented with this except in the good old USA, in, in, in uh, the farmer circles in the Midwest. So there's a caveat, okay? I'm just giving it straight up, so I don't know this, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a teaspoon. Now, it says you can take up to three quarters of a tablespoon. This is dosage, right? Right here, three quarters of a tablespoon. And I'm going to put a teaspoon in liposomal 
homemade liposomal vitamin C and drink it. And uh, I'm going to be trying this out every day. I think it's going to help the absorption rate. So I'll say, for instance, this doesn't absorb that good because it's homemade. It will. It probably will with this stuff, I'm thinking. It's an experiment, so we shall see. I'm the guinea pig, all right? So, you know, I'm not making claims on this crap because, like, it's not crap. This is actually good stuff if you actually follow uh, what the farmers have been doing with this stuff for years. It's pretty good. I, I, never, I never heard anybody doing this, so I don't know. This is all new, new territory. So I'm really telling you, you know, I know I get in a lot of arguments with people about, you know, they think they got a cure-all for something. It's not a cure-all, damn it. God. Some things are really good, but that don't mean it's a cure-all. God, you know, anyway, so not to get on that subject, but I, I'm going to put a teaspoon in here right now and see what it does. Okay, so I put some of it in there, spilled a little bit. We're going to go put it in there. Doesn't look like it reacted crazy or nothing. <laughs> You know, if it turned blue and it started foaming up, I'd be saying, I'm not going to drink this, but uh, it should be all right. Because actually, it, um, you know, it's been it's been known to be working. Uh, I, you know, they had better growth with chickens and freaking everything, man. They put it in the food. They put it in the seeds. They treat the seeds with it. Some crazy stuff, man. I think what it's doing, though, it's causing um, the absorption better, better absorption. Actually, like I said, this was actually a, a, a solvent, a cleaning solvent. That's what he developed it as. Now, it doesn't mean, you know, I know they say cleaning solvent. You know, you know, orange oil is a cleaning solvent, too, right? So, I mean, it don't mean it's got something bad in it, but it doesn't, really. But I'm going to drink it. <sighs> yum, yum. Anyway, tastes fine. So, it's an experiment. If you don't hear from me anymore... You know an experiment didn't work. I'm just kidding, all right? I really think this is cool, though. Because you, this is actually very safe stuff. I mean, you know, they got mad about some of the claims that were coming out because of all the testimonies. But, you know, the product's around because there's too many people that say it works. they got to have it for their, their chickens, their seeds, and all this other stuff. A lot of people never heard of this puppy. But it's one of those things where I can't verify it with, you know, Japanese, German, Israeli... Russian or Chinese or Switzerland medicine, uh, and I can't verify an ancient text going back to Greece and India and uh, China, you know, where they, they have various herbs like, you know, these things, you know, natural alfalfa and all this stuff I got up here. I can't, I can't be verifying, you know, this is just some of my junk, right? I can't be saying, hey, you know, it's, it's just good old USA Midwest, you know? But I think it's a cool idea. I'm going to put a teaspoon of that in my liposomal vitamin C and I eat gummies too so those are good for you right gummies anyway experiment quote unquote I don't know we'll find out and I'm not gonna be able to tell you if it works really good but hey man if I start um, um, feeling super good maybe I feel okay but you know if I start feeling really super good maybe I think it'll work so I don't mean it's gonna don't be one of those seat of the pants type things I'm not gonna be able to tell you if it freaking really I'm gonna, I'll be able to tell you if it does anything bad you know Tastes okay. Can't tell the difference. Experiment. Got to repeat again. Experiment. But you know what? I'm probably you know at least when you listen to me on this channel, I give you straight scoop. I don't. I really try to be accurate. I really do. Man, I'm getting so burnt up about some of the stuff that's out on YouTube about people making these claims about yeah we got a cure for this and the government's trying to keep it secret. Yeah, there's some things out there. Yes, but mm -mm 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 -mm. anyway. Caveat emptor. Buyer beware. Anyway, over now.